Hi, my name's Chris Harlow and I'm a lecturer at the University of Edinburgh's Centre for Reproductive Health. I have a research interest in ovarian biology and ovarian cancer, but I'm also heavily involved in undergraduate teaching of both biomedical sciences and medical students. So in September 2015, um, I set up a session with 30 reproductive biology honours students in their final year. We were looking for a, a term used in reproduction that was not already represented in Wikipedia and came across the phrase neuroangiogenesis, which fitted the bill. Like many academics, I was perhaps a bit wary of using Wikipedia as we've perhaps uh, been conditioned to think of Wikipedia as something that's not peer-reviewed and therefore to be uh, used at your peril. But in fact, I have to admit, and I suspect many of my colleagues would, that we do in fact use Wikipedia quite a lot, particularly for looking for definitions and information about uh, terms and um, processes in our field or without our field that we're perhaps less familiar with. This began after a chance discussion with a colleague from um, Learning, Teaching and Web Services uh, in the University. We were discussing the, the use of web-based resources in undergraduate teaching. And I realized from these discussions that actually Wikipedia might be a really useful tool to engage students in learning about using literature, searching databases, and actually to produce something that was perhaps student-led um, and outward-facing. So given that this was uh, something very new for me to take on, I started the planning process several months in advance. I contacted uh, relevant people in, in the university who I knew would be able to help me with this, uh, including staff from Learning, Teaching and Web Services, um, a couple of people who were, were uh, Wikimedians themselves, and um, a local expert in, in uh, our research centre who had a good knowledge of the topic that we were going to use. I was particularly struck by the enthusiasm of all of the colleagues who uh, decided to become involved and this really helped with the process of planning and organising the event. Well, as with any new form of teaching, I was unsure how the students would um, engage with something new like this. But actually I was surprised how well they responded and they worked together in groups and were able to produce uh, some amazing material in a very short time. So the first session uh, resulted in collection of uh, large amounts of material that we could use uh, to, uh, as input to build the Wikipedia page. After that, three students joined in a, a second session, along with myself uh, and the resident expert in the topic. And together, we were able to collate all of the material that had been collected and produce, um, within a three-hour session, uh, a completely new Wikipedia page. I think the sense of achievement that the students um, found in, in being able to do this uh, was very evident on their faces as they saw the Wikipedia page for the first time. So I was surprised at how smoothly everything went and, and I put this down to the fact that everyone involved was, was extremely motivated and their engagement with the, the project re, re, was reflected in, in the final outcome. The Wikipedia editor took some uh, time to learn, but um, particularly now with um, the use of the new visual editor, I think everything will become much easier. For me personally, I think there's been a, a big impact on my attitude and my engagement with Wikipedia. And in discussing with the students who were involved afterwards, um, at least one of them was saying that um, they would like to continue with Wikipedia editing in the future.
since that event, colleagues from the vet school have approached me and I've been to talk to them about my experiences and how I went about uh, hosting this event. And they seem very keen on doing the same thing in the vet school and are, in fact, planning to run a similar type of Wikipedia session with uh, a, a larger group of around uh, 60 undergraduate vet students uh, starting in 2016-17. I've really enjoyed the experience, so I want to repeat it uh, in the next academic year. I plan to be more ambitious, so I want to get the group of students to each group work on a separate term, so we'll maybe be producing uh, five or six uh, new Wikipedia pages. I want to ensure that all of the students are fully engaged with all aspects of the process, so they will all be involved in both of the sessions that, that, we, that we do. Absolutely, yes, I would. Um, if I could give a few words of advice, I would say, first of all, plan ahead, particularly if it's something like this that you're not familiar with. Engage with the relevant staff uh, across the university. And if you have access to uh, a Wikimedian, most, it would definitely be a great help if you involve them in the process as well. So it's been challenging, it's been great fun, uh, it's been a really rewarding experience and a way of engaging students in how to access and use databases, how to abstract the information from those and how to use those to develop uh, a web-based resource. So if you're thinking about it, I would say definitely have a go.